Howdy folks, over the past few years, I've grown accustomed to making a quick PSA every time there's a new uh, version of Heasoft released. So here you go, Heasoft version 6.32 is out now as of July the 20th, 2023, Heasoft version 6.32 uh, is out. You should go ahead and upgrade to it if you are uh, particularly an XP Swift nicer or XTE user. Yeah, I'm going to go through the release notes here very quickly. You can find it, of course, linked in the description of this video, uh, wherever, or you could just go to uh, the HeSARC and take a look at it. I'm particularly going to focus on the stuff with nicer because that's what I'm mostly working with is nicer related things. And as with a lot of these other videos, when I just say like, hey, there's a new version of HeSoft out, uh, I, I strongly suggest you upgrade to the latest version of HeSoft, and I think that most others would recommend that. But also do note that I am not affiliated in any way, shape, or form with NASA, the Goddard Space Flight Center, the HESARC, or any of the missions that I end up mentioning throughout this video, nor am I affiliated with any university. I am 100% independent, and this video is just meant to serve as uh, just a third-party PSA. So again, like I said, uh, I will leave these release notes linked in the description down below. Of course, there are many changes and bug fixes and things that are changing with regard to... Uh, you know, pretty much everything here, but there is particular focus on uh, the XB mission. There is a lot going on here. You can see one thing new, another thing new, another thing new, three, four. All right, there, there's a lot of new stuff going on there. And again, the same thing goes with NICER. We have uh, new stuff here with NIOBS Merge, which is one of the new bits of functionality with ESOFT version 6.32. Uh, basically, uh, the big changes to come to Heasoft version 6.32 with regards to NICER are uh, bug fixes, at least from, from my perspective, at least anyways. They're bug fixes or uh, things addressing um, basically the optical loading issues that were reported or the, or the optical issues that were reported, as well as also some of the timing issues that were reported there too as well. But uh, one of the cool new features is uh, there's added support for merging uh, or combining uh, observations or, or data sets, so that's pretty important there. But I also want to particularly highlight that even older uh, legacy missions like XTE are getting new things, so there is this PCA PHA sys error that is new. I have not particularly done too much with regard to XTE Spectra stuff, but uh, I do actually work with XTE a bit also, so keeping up with some of the older uh, you know, legacy stuff is interesting there too. And so uh, I'll, again, encourage you to go and check out all those release notes. Uh, so for those of you who are upgrading to He's to a new version of HeSoft for the first time, I've done a video on that. Also, if you need help installing HeSoft, you can go ahead and check out my tutorial for HeSoft version 6.28. Uh, basically, all the steps are more or less the same, and actually, I need to remember to go and put in a new pinned comment with a new link to uh, the HeSarks official guide there because they changed it up. They don't just have an Ubuntu guide anymore. It's now uh, a Debian Arch uh, not Deb, uh, Debian Arch, it's a, it's a Deb or uh, RPM-based uh, Linux uh, page, so I'll link that there too for those of you that might also need some help with that. But I do also want to highlight here, though, that if you do go to the NICER homepage at the HESARC, uh, you should subscribe to this uh, NICER Announce Owners at lists.nasa.gov. That is how I found out about Heasoft version 6.32 coming out, and that might be how most of you also found out about that. That's a great resource, but uh, that's also why I make these videos is because maybe you don't get those emails, or maybe you're not regularly checking the Heasark RSS feed or anything like that. This is just another way to kind of get that message out to you. Hey, there's a new version of Heasoft. You should go check it out. Hopefully this is helpful or informative for you, but thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.